Good morning, Tim Lidecker. Good morning. How are you, Tim? How are you, Thank Tim? You. I'm okay. Um, you create, there's so many things you do in comedy, and it's, it, it, it is, you know, parodies of, of what certain things are and, yeah. and, and where they are. But how did it all start for you? Because it is interesting how you got your big break. Oh, yeah. Uh, I went to film school with Eric Wareheim, my, my comedy partner, and we didn't think about doing comedy, we thought we were going to be like, you know, Martin Scorsese or something. That's mm. who we wanted to be. But but in our off time, we used to just like, you know, make prank phone calls and make these weird little art movies and stuff. And uh, our friends liked them. Uh, we liked them. And we uh, made a little compilation, sent it to Bob Odenkirk, who you guys might Breaking know. Breaking Bad. I this mean, was before, all, yeah, it was before all that, but yeah. he was like a comedy, you know, uh, cult comedy hero of ours. And miraculously, uh, he watched it and called me and was like, what can I do to help? D did you did you get his attention in a different way? Well, we though, sent him, him. A, we sent him a package with the DVD and some headshots of us wearing, you know, neon sports trainers and crazy uh, pictures of us and an invoice yeah. for one hundred and twenty five dollars <laughs> for the package. And I think <laughs> to reimburse you yeah, yeah, for, the, for the for the DVD. And he got that joke like miraculously. He yeah. thought that was funny and then watched it. And I can't believe what he saw. Uh, it was probably, you know, if I watched it now, I'd be very embarrassed. But well, it's like, you know, it's your TV, first TV. Yeah, your stuff. first. Of course. It's, we're in Can't Watch Yourself back on anything. I'm the same. So it's, it's yeah. like that it's when you were even watching your clips there. When we, we, interest, we introduced you, said, and this absurdist humor. Yeah. Is, was, was that always you? Is that what you always wanted to do? What, what attracted you to that kind of humor? I mean, I grew up watching... Uh, you know, Andy Kaufman, mm. uh, Albert Brooks, um, Kids in the Hall, uh, Monty Python. So it was all oh, that yeah. stuff was was absurdist and mm. surreal. And that's what I loved most. And and Steve Martin and like the stuff that like the inside jokes that you have with your friends, the stuff that you that make you laugh mm. where you don't really it's not like punchlines. It's just yeah. like a mood. It's like a vibe. And, I, you know, we were just always trying to capture those kind of moments. And um, it's, it's always, it's never, we never think about an audience, which maybe is a mistake. But <laughs> we think about what makes us laugh. And, and it, you're a comedian's comedian, because in the, Ooh, wor in the like world that. of comedy... Although a lot of comedians don't like me. But, but, I, but in the world of comedy, you have so many fans. Yeah. Like, when you're talking about people who want to work with you, yeah. you know, Will Ferrell, Adam McKay, they got you yeah. involved in Funny or Die, the website, which was the first thing, really, in the web that went global yeah. of yeah. kind of watching this thing to subscribe to. And, you know, people like Judd Apatow, the yeah. lads from Marvel, like, you're in Ant-Man, they wanted you yeah. for a cameo. It's what's that like when you have got like big comedians who are like, oh my god, I'm mad about Tim and Eric. <laughs> it's I don't know. It's it's great. It help. It helps. I'm fan. Of course, I grew up watching Will Ferrell, and then like I'm mm. doing scenes with Will Ferrell, yeah. and he's the funniest guy in the world. And but he, you know, very quickly you realize we're all just like we're all the same. You know, we can click together and make each other laugh, and mm. it's a beautiful thing. And music is a big part of your act as well. I disagree. <laughs> no? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's the second half of my live yeah. show. And yes, I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> I do too much. I bite off more than I can chew. But I, lo I, I, I go in my garage and I write songs, and what am I going to do? Perform them. Sing them. Yeah, sing them. Yeah, play them and play them the best I can. So. It's fun. So, a lot of people come to the show and they don't know about the music. And then I, I do the stand up and it's good. People laugh. Yeah. And then we come out and everyone's like, what is this? There's a band. <laughs> but we get them, we win them over every night. We get them dancing by the end of the show and no one leaves. So in Vicar Street tonight, <laughs> uh, if you're going along to Vicar Street tonight, yeah. first half, Comedy, second half, all music. Yeah, and but there's comedy, bit of improv in the music, and stuff like yes. that as well. Yeah. It's a great show. Uh, I give it five stars. Five stars. Do you? Yeah. Tim I wonder five what stars. Brian Lloyd would give it. Brian, come over and 12. sit down because come Brian, here, Brian. I want Brian you to sit on my lap. Well, I said, oh yeah, actually, okay. You know, I just want to. I want to. I want to talk about something. I want to talk about I, my jeans for a second. Okay. I think they're great. To show his oh yeah, the jeans. Yeah. I honestly, and this is no disrespect to the show. <clears> you give the man some space, Brian. Thought that I was doing radio. Because he did. He AM. I just saw the email. I see AM. I go, okay, I'm doing radio. Grand. Why would they have me on TV? 
because you're very good. Pieces, Look at but, you. <laughs> but so I only bring one pair of pants on this tour. And, and, and that's mess. them. No. So yesterday I bought these jeans, but I'm just very self-conscious about. No, they're good. About the the uh, what do you call it? The, Your the ass blend. looks great. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm from here. <laughs> yeah, it looks, it looks great. The, the Are they, is it a good wash? I it, it's a good wash. Is it too? It's a light blue. It's right there. Yeah, that that's Bruce Springsteen. In, in fashion I terms, Mary. I think it's a good um, wash. I'm it's like sorry. a dad. Your Can mic? I just say whatever? Just turn around there. Get back. Get into a diet coke ad from the 1990s. That's exactly oh, uh, what yes. you need to do with that ball. He's in. He's in. He's in. Look at that beautiful wash. Right, I feel better now. Because everyone's going to be talking about now. the jeans. But you the do, jeans look great. You do. Oh, look, he loves this. You do <laughs> this show. Now I'm relaxed. On, Let's go on, for an hour. On cinema. You do the show on cinema. Yeah. That basically yeah. takes the mickey out of everything Brian does. I know. I know. Like, Brian's a proper reviewer. Yeah. I know. I'm not a proper reviewer. <laughs> like, Craig Tarkington, who does the show on cinema. We talked cinema. about it before the show. We did, and yeah. And I, I do have some respect for some critics. Some. But a lot of it's pretty silly. Yeah. Talking about if a movie's good or not. Who cares? He, he's right. I mean, no. You know, I, uh, you're an adult. You can decide if I can if decide if I'm going to like it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So one yeah. reviewer's opinion on it doesn't matter. No, no. honestly, no. I really, I mean, I love, the reason I love on cinema at the cinema, he's absolutely right, because it is, he's very correct is that, you know, it is up to adults to make their own decisions on films. And I think on Cinema at the Cinema, what I love about it is, is that it actually does parody. Oh my God, you're looking right into my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been doing this show for like three years. No one has ever come Sweet. here that I've uh, that I've actually cared about. All right, you. Brian. All right, we're here. I know, you're here, yeah, yeah but like a guest, I mean. Anyways. I mean, um, a handsome guy. I'm, he is, that, look at that hair. Right okay. Both of you are like hair bros. Anyways, um, but, I, I, what I love about on Cinema at the Cinema is that it, it correctly Priorities. I love this close-up, by the way. <laughs> Keep coming in. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you went in. I went in. That we was all went in. That was a full lip kiss. Did you just lob the cup? We just... I, didn't, I didn't open, though. I didn't open. Okay, okay. I didn't open. Well, so that's that's go. He, I could feel him thinking about it. That's I was. Going, that's I was going thinking viral about it. today. Yeah. We'd be releasing that clip today. I want you to talk about the Gwyneth Paltrow trial. I want that's to talk about... Kiss, the first I know, kiss. Yeah. I want to talk week. about coming from Joe Rogan. Your partner will be like, yeah. oh, you did get some action on your tour, yeah. Peter. I hope my wife what isn't watching we, this. What yes. have we done? Brian, I take it you're going to Vicar Street tonight, then? No, actually, I'm working tonight, <laughs> so I can't go. I'm I would get try some, get out uh, I would, if I were you, get I'd get some Valtrex, though. I've got some lip balm. Awesome. He's been all around Europe, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, yeah. If, uh, if, I get, if I get, like, herpes afterwards, I'm, I'm that was the uh, yeah. That was the joke I made, and you just went you too went far. I went too far. far. I went too far. You get the graphic tape. Uh, Tim Heidecker live. Tim, Tim's yep. gotten a bit of action on Singing, Ireland AM anyway. comedy, everything's yeah. nice. <laughs> Featuring Tim Heidecker and the very good band. They're in Vicker Street tonight. Tickets are available on Ticketmaster. Can you top him? Getting the shift at Vicker Street tonight. I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. He'll just go around shifting everyone in Vicker Street tonight. Uh, that's Please all bring I... your wife first. Yeah, we're <laughs> going to take a quick break. See you in a few minutes. What just happened?